This is volume 11 in a special audio series entitled Pearls of Great Price. Now we're going to go to Colleen in Michigan, and she wants to know what the seminars are about. Is that right? Well, yes, I have a question for you. Okay, I'm listening. May I tell you why I've decided to ask you first? Yes, whatever you wish. Well, um, I truly, truly ready to, I don't know how to say it, like begin again. I have an addiction, and I, I have to fix this, and I'm not a stupid woman. I'm not a dumb girl, and I know I have to do this. And they say I'm manic depressive and I'm bipolar and the, for God's sake, no. it wouldn't be because. Well, no, no. Hold, hold, hold. What are you angry about? What am I angry about? Yeah. You know, are you going to be angry with your condition at least? Oh, Let's start well, with that. Yeah, but that's why I have the condition probably because, I mean, anybody no, no. would, I'm sure. No, 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 no. Don't excuse it because not me. I'm not anybody. I've had worse conditions than yours and I never got angry with it. I just watched it and wondered, hmm, what do I do next? And I wait. And slowly but surely, I didn't have to do anything next. It sort of healed itself. Uh, Mm -hmm. But I was doing things differently. My life was changing as I was watching and, you know, even wondering what to do next, but not worrying about whether I find it or not. If I don't know, I just don't know. And I'm not frustrated because I don't know. Sometimes all you have to do is let it pass and not struggle. The struggle draws you in more deeply to the problem and compounds the problem. So therefore, we need to start with this. Uh, you haven't meditated yet, have you? Oh, I've tried. Um, Let me go through it a little bit. You ready to do it now? Sure. Okay, well, close your eyes. All right. Uh, how are you seated right now? I'm on my front porch. I'm outside sitting on the cement. And I <laughs> on the cement, all right. Well, <laughs> well I mean, on my porch. Yeah, okay. Now, put your hand by your side, right hand. Okay. You have the phone in your left hand. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, with your eyes closed... Mm-hmm. Notice the middle of your forehead. Don't look with your eyes. Just be aware of the middle of the forehead. It's like you're looking at a big, wide television screen. If the lights would go out, what you'd see still is like a screen of little flashes of light. Sure. Millions of them. Sure, little pixels. Uh, Oh, beautiful pixels. I love it. Perfect description. Pixels. It's like a television with no picture on it, just the pixels. You know, white noise. You know what that is? That is God talking to you. You can go into the blackest room and still see it, and it's not a chemistry. It's something passing through. He doesn't talk to you in words. And you see, if you step back and allow that to come through you, so what you've done just now without realizing, you've stepped back from your thoughts. You're actually not observing thoughts. They'll come. They will come when you sit quietly on your own. But right now, I'm guiding you. There's a spirit in me guiding you. Now, Just be aware of that spot as I'm talking. Ready? The next thing I want you to do is, as though you're looking through the middle of your forehead, follow your arm so that that feeling is a little feeling will run down your arm a little bit. You can move your hand a little bit. See if you can see your hand move. Just move your hand around it. You can actually see the hand move even though your eyes are closed. Can you see that? Move your hand a little bit? Yeah. You can see the positions as it moves. Yeah. That's your spiritual hand. Now, be aware of the first finger, and you'll see it tingles a little bit. You're just being aware of it. You don't have to try. Just notice your first finger, and it tingles a little bit, right? Yeah. A little bit. Now the next finger. Shift the attention to the next finger. Okay, and now the next one. Tingle a little bit? Yeah. Pinky? A little bit? Go to the thumb. Now, you're not really thinking about much, because I'm talking to you. When you do this on your own, you'll have a struggle with thought, because it will come to you, but every time... It pulls you in. Just notice it does, and then step back and do this little exercise. That's all you have to do. Nothing more than that. Now, what's happening to you at this minute? You will see it when you open your eyes. When you open your eyes, everything will look different. Now, while I'm talking to you, keep making your awareness go from one finger to another as if you're looking through the middle of your forehead. You're becoming objective and allowing the words that I'm saying to mingle to be compatible with the signals coming in. They are words that are equivalent to the signals that are coming through your head so that you can agree in two ways, with your thoughts, your flesh thoughts, which are words and pictures, so that the words now have a meaning. When I say forgive, I mean don't resent. You have been forgiven. And you will know that when you open your eyes because nothing in the past seems important anymore, although the past will rise and you will have another chance to look at it and not be angry with it. 
another chance to look at something else and not be angry with it. But this will happen only because you know you're forgiven, and now you know what it means to forgive others, for they know not what they do. They can't help themselves any more than you can help your own craziness. See? And so, once you understand they're programmed and you're not anymore, you can hold on to this this light that will grow in you forever, just by learning not to be resentful. But now you don't have to be resentful towards yourself, because it doesn't help you. Resentment towards yourself is hell tricking you. You see that? That's what makes you bipolar. Getting upset, and getting worse, and looking for happiness and pleasure, and, and that doesn't help you either. Pleasure doesn't relieve pain. It just makes you forget what's wrong with you. That's a sin, to forget what's wrong with you. You need to be aware that unforgiveness from your mom. See, I know that comes through your mom towards dad, perhaps. Am I right? Wow. Okay. Yes. You're okay now. Now, all you have to do, one thing only, it's a heartbeat. From now onwards, you'll see just a fraction of a second before someone wants to irritate you and be mean to you. You can see it happening before it happens, and a shield will go up gentle and it won't get through to you. You'll feel the little irritation starting to rise, but you can look at it, it goes away. It's called forgiveness. Open your eyes. How are you? Well. (laughs) You've experienced God, haven't you? I don't know what it was, but (laughs) I also, that was just, what did you do? (laughs) I help you experience God. You'll be all right now. You won't have your bipolar anymore. Just keep faith with what I said. You've been forgiven. Just learn to deal with the next moment patiently, okay? Now that you come to your addictions, you look at them as, oh, I can let that go. That's not hard. You don't need the comfort of it anymore. You found your creator. And you can let that go now. You've got faith. You've always had it. You didn't know you had it. I just had to show you where it was. Be still. Right? Yeah. Okay. So there is no other God. Be still and know that I am God. That's what he says. And that's what you did. So, I'll be happy to send you the CD. Would you like oh, a copy? No, no, no. That's okay. Um, I'd be my, happy my, to. Well, my, my husband um, downloaded it. Use I, it. <laughs> wow. You, you have no idea. <laughs> it just happened. Um, <laughs> I know. Um, it's a personal thing, wasn't it? It was because I did it oh. and not the machine. You are an amazing man. Then I know you don't like to be put on a pedestal, but I don't know what you think about someone like you. Well, see, I treated both minds, the spirit and the mind. That's what doctors don't understand. That's how quickly everybody can get better. We can all get better in minutes. This is why I feel I need to come to you. You don't need to. You'll be all right now. You can come if you want to. Come for a holiday there and just enjoy yourself. You don't need a whole lot more, but you can get me on the radio. Oh, you, I, you I don't, up at three thirty every morning to listen to you, but I don't <laughs> believe I'm that strong. I mean, I want to believe. Believe me, I'm not. Oh my God, what you did is, I cannot thank you enough. I mean, yes, I can. I know I can donate, and I will. But please, what I'm saying is, how do you just? Oh God, I sound like I'm copping out already. I'm just scared. No, no, no. Something inside you is scared. You've you've been a little bit possessed over the years. You see, but you'll be all right. Don't worry oh. about it. It'll come, it's on your doorstep, but you can look at it and don't fight with it. Don't argue. When it appears, whatever appears, right. the thing called doubt, you know what I'm talking about, don't yes. you? When it appears in thoughts or a dark feeling, just watch it, it goes away. Don't argue with it. Don't reason with it. See? Don't either believe it or disbelieve it. Just watch it. It can't stand that. It goes away. Wow. Look at people that way when they're trying to confuse you. You've got the power now. Use it. And use it just the way I said, just by forgiving people, letting it go. They can't help it. They can't get to you anymore. There's even a word for you. I I don't, I'm embarrassed to even say thank you. I don't. No, there's nothing. This is just the gift I have. You've always had that gift to believe. That's all. You've always had it. See? But there wasn't anyone to show you what that was. That's all. No. They didn't have it themselves. You can't be angry at people when they don't have it. 